Hey you guys, it's Tara from Raw Food Living and I'm outside of my tiny house in the south of Sweden right now and I'm gonna give you guys a tour, so come on in and join me. This is my tiny home in the south of Sweden and it is a smaller home located on the property of one of the summer homes of a Swedish person here. First, I'm gonna give you guys a tour of the outside. So in front of my little tiny home, I have this private little veranda, which is great for the summertime. I've got these pots that I don't know what I'm gonna put in them yet, we'll see. And around the side of my fence here is this garden space that I have access to. I'm not entirely sure what to do with it yet, but it has pretty good sun exposure, so I might try planting some things. I have no idea, I haven't come up with a plan yet, but it's a decent amount of space if I did want to try to grow some of my own food or just have a space for Pepsi and I for the summer. So that is my next step is to do something with this space. Now it is time to see the inside. As you can see from the inside of my tiny home, it's pretty small. It's about 300 square feet, or if you're in Europe, it's about 30 square meters. But I love this style of home. Back in Canada, we would call it a bachelor suite, which basically means that it is all open concept. And I just love open concept living. It's really bright. There's so much light in this space and it just feels really open and welcoming. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna show you is the kitchen. And the kitchen is really small, but it also has everything that I need. So it has the sink, and underneath the sink is a little bit of storage. Right beside that is the bar fridge. The only thing the bar fridge is missing is a freezer. I really, really wish I had a freezer, but unfortunately it's something I don't have. Another thing that it didn't include is an oven, which is actually perfect for me because I eat raw foods anyways, and I've just been using the cooktop to make my dog's food. Right above the sink are a couple of drying racks and then some space to store pots and pans and things like that. Then there's a couple places to put cutlery and right beside that is my cupboard or my pantry. And right now I'm using it primarily to store cups and plates and bowls and a little bit of food. I will be stocking up on more food but I just moved here a few days ago so I don't have much yet. What I'm currently having here though is some lentils and some rice and coconut milk and peanut butter. Those are all foods for my dog, and I have a little bit of dried fruits. I'm also going to be getting some nuts and seeds and stocking up on as many dried items as I can in the coming weeks. Next up, I'm going to show you my standing desk slash fruit storage area. Obviously, you can see that I live a pretty minimalistic lifestyle. I don't need things to be fancy, I just want them to be functional. So I turned a banana box on its side and put my computer on top of that, and I use this as a standing desk. And then inside of the banana box, I have some important documents and just a little bit of storage for notes and things like that. And beside my standing desk, I've got a little fruit storage area where I usually keep my dates and citrus and mangoes. Right next to my standing desk is the bathroom and it's small, but it's actually the perfect size. It obviously has every functional thing I need in a bathroom, like a shower, a toilet, a sink. And it also comes with this really small washing machine, which is perfect. It's really the perfect amount of space for one person and I don't need any more. And on the shelving in my bathroom, I usually don't keep as many products as I currently have. I have some products by a company called Whole Clarity that I am currently doing a review for and trying out their vegan skincare line. And it's amazing actually, I'm really enjoying it. But usually I have a very small amount of personal care products and live very minimalistically that way. And next to my bathroom, I have my clothing wardrobe. So this is also the perfect amount of space for the clothing that I have. I've hung up all of my summer items. I found it really difficult to get rid of clothing, so I don't necessarily have a minimalist wardrobe, but everything I do have fits into a couple of backpacks. And beside that, I have my dresser and my drawers, which just hold, again, more clothing and some electronics in the top drawer. But otherwise, this is the only storage space I have, and it stores everything I need, really, which is mostly clothing and electronics. And of course, I've got my bed area, which is simple, but big enough for Pepsi and I to sleep on, which is all I need. And beside my bed, I have a chair that I'm using as a nightstand because it's functional and works just as well as a regular table. And I've got the lamp on there. Right next to it, I've got this gorgeous little window, and this contributes so much to having extra light in here because I have light at one side in the kitchen for the sunrise, I have light for the sunset and midday, it's just perfect. 
Right in the middle of the room, I have my yoga space. So I just have my yoga mat, my knee pad, and my strap. And it's great here because the ceilings are really high, so it enables me to do all types of yoga and there's plenty of space to move around. And in the last corner of my tiny home is the couch. And honestly, Pepsi uses the couch far more than I do, but I have it here just in case I have friends or guests staying over. And right next to the couch is the area where I keep my shoes. And that concludes the tour of my tiny home here in Sweden. What I love most about tiny home living is that it is minimalistic and simplistic. I don't have a lot of space, which means I don't have to fill up empty space with material possessions. I can live really, really simply and only have the basic necessities. And I find that that is a lot less stressful. It makes me feel happy and simplistic living really resonates with me and it's the way I really love living. If you guys want to see more videos about tiny home living, give this video a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching and I will catch you guys next time.